Hello everybody, it's me, Hype here, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something very slightly different, and what I mean by very slightly different is, um, pretty different. I'm going to be instead doing a commentary type video, where I talk about my opinion on random things on the internet, because it's simply what I like doing. If you hate it, well then leave, but if you like it, then stay. And I really would beg you to stay, as it'll really help this video do well. Oh yeah, and speaking of of doing well please be sure to subscribe but also leave a like too it would really help this video rank and it would bring me a step closer towards achieving my dream anyways though let's get right into this and let me explain a few things so if you use tiktok there's a very high chance that you know who the vegan teacher is and i i think she's a very self-explanatory person i mean her name is that vegan teacher so uh, obviously she's vegan unless she's trying to teach you to not be vegan but that's very rare for someone with that kind of name. Basically, she's not your average vegan, though, because I I think we can all respect a vegan, okay? I mean, not everybody is comfortable with eating things that used to be alive and happy. Well, I mean, at least I hope happy. But the thing that about her and the thing that really made her go viral was the fact that her logic was, if you ate meat, you worshipped the devil. Basically, her logic was that... Okay, 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 yeah, yeah that was her logic. But basically, what when she sees someone eat a fish, it's like us viewing someone eat a rotten baby, or I guess eat a baby alive. She gets very angry about it, and she'll find any reason to be mad at people, despite being like looking in her 50s. She used to be an actual teacher, but I don't know. Apparently, she got fired, understandably. However, recently she got banned on TikTok, which has caused her to go into mental drought. So today we're going to be talking about it. Now, there's been much drama that has surfaced about this. However, recently, and I think at the time of me like recording right now, it was uploaded a couple hours ago where she talked about Charlie D'Amelio and basically attacked her. Now, if you're not aware, Charlie D'Amelio is the most followed person on TikTok, however, is underage. So pretty much this is a 50-year-old, a 60-year-old woman going after a 16-year-old. This is the society, guys. This is 2021 and this is what you have to live with. Okay, anyways, though, so pretty much her main point was, hey, Charlie D'Amelio, Emilio has this huge platform, so why why doesn't she promote vegan products? Essentially, she went to like one of her brand videos and saw it was on Ulta Beauty and got mad at it because it wasn't a vegan brand. Like she's not vegan. You don't have to like force her into it. Basically, she gets all mad and angry for literally no reason. Basically, just Charlie D'Amelio wasn't vegan. La na 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 na. I'm very angry about this. It's pretty um weird and honestly creepy that she's doing this to someone that's underage because she needs to like stop forgetting that not everybody who has a platform is an adult she doesn't have to force and live by your standards like you're not her mom you can't like like if you were to hit her i mean well i mean i okay this is getting phrased completely wrong i mean i guess if her mom were to hit her that would not be good but basically if you were to go ahead and spank charlie d'amelio you would get an you would catch a case. That's that's my point. So try, stop trying to act like your mom, okay? Because you would catch a case if you did. But alright, let's read this description first. What is she doing to make the world a better place? Why is she promoting non-vegan products? Why is she using so many one-time use plastic cups and straws? Are you serious? Are you really serious? Okay, look, okay. I need to read this out. Why is she never talking about anything substantial or important? Wait a second. Did she talk about Black Lives Matter? a bit ago and use her platform for a positive manner yeah that's what i thought but hey i guess since you say the n-word and decide not to cut it out of your video you probably don't support that anyways why is she never taught oh wait I, I already read that who is coaching teaching or guiding her to be a better citizen of the earth her parents obviously you don't have to be vegan to be a good person you know i'm not gonna speak for gods but i think there are some literal gods that ate meat because that that's how we had to live at a point and i don't understand why you can't accept that jesus however if all of this hasn't been crazy enough afterwards she goes completely off topic she starts talking about the fact that charlie has her shirt on backwards and the letters are backwards when that's how a literal camera works her shirt is on backwards or something the writing isn't the right way around now 
Do you think that Charlie knows that TikTok has a, a switch button where you can make your logo or whatever it is on your shirt legible? I think she should know that. And okay, that's what I thought at first too. However, apparently that vegan teacher knows it. I mean, after all, she used TikTok at a point. But then she goes on to criticize Charlie D'Amelio because she was like, okay, well, hey, wait, you d d doesn't, doesn't Charlie know that like there's a thing that you can do to switch it so your logo's on forwards? Like, isn't that, isn't that dumb? Like, uh, what the heck? You are that vegan teacher, not, hey, I'm going to point out small things in the video to criticize a teacher like I, I don't understand you're literally killing your entire argument just by doing this in the first place oh and i should probably add on the fact that this entire time the vegan teacher has been making a good and bad list for charlie d'amelio basically lacing off the good things that she has done with her platform and the quote-unquote bad things and i say quote-unquote because what that vegan teacher identifies as bad it isn't even bad at all it's something that really it's not even a mistake even you can't even identify it as a mistake it's basically not promoting vegan products or hey wearing your shirt backwards that's that's on the bad list apparently honestly i think that's just very weird in general if i had like if if i were charlie right now and i knew that this freaking like m over middle-aged woman was so interested in me that she was making a whole list based off of me i, I would be kind of creeped out like, honestly, one of these days, the, the, the Charlie's parents are going to contact her and be like, okay, you need to stop this. But in conclusion, basically, that's the whole situation. It's pretty messed up, and it is pretty screwed up. However, I think that we do need to care for the vegan teacher during these hard times. I mean, she was banned from TikTok. Everybody is turning on her. And, and, and nobody is turning vegan. Okay, no, that was a joke. Honestly, I do support you if you're vegan, and I do want to say that before i end this video i have so many friends or people i know that are vegan and i'm completely fine with that honestly there's some things i'm uncomfortable eating despite possibly liking the taste i mean honestly i'm uncomfortable eating babies so i can relate to you vegans Ching. Okay, no, in all seriousness, though, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like if you want more of this. I really enjoy making this kind of content, and I hope I can make it even more. I want to make, like, a series called Commentary Thursdays, which would be pretty cool. Also, follow my Twitch link in description, and, um, yeah, see ya!